I'm here in Eastbourne to talk to one of the directors, Sarah Corrin, about this year's Eastbourne Festival 2015. So let's go and have a chat with Sarah. So Sarah, thank you very much for giving us your time today. Tell us what's new about the festival. This year is the eighth year of the festival. And this year it moves from April, May to July, which is exciting because one of the main points of the festival, of course, is to appeal to the maximum number of people and as wide an audience as possible. So this year we're um, introducing the festival to many more tourists than ever before. And it'll be an innovative festival. Um, it will be a platform for lots of new people. And we've got a very exciting programme ahead. What's going on in the theatres? So, lots going on in the theatres. Uh, in the Burley Theatre, which forms part of Eastbourne College, we have Dora versus Picasso, which is uh, a, a drama about their tempestuous affair back in the 30s. And um, it's considered to be a multimedia production, so there'll be uh, illumination and all sorts of um, weird and wonderful things going on. There'll be lots of flamenco, so flamenco dance and flamenco music. It was during my residency at the Tate Gallery uh, London, then Tate Britain, that I came across Picasso's iconic Weeping Woman painting which was based on the face of his muse and mistress at the time, a young woman called Dora Maar, who was also a surrealist photographer in her own right. And uh, I was inspired by that painting to come up with a long poem in her voice, a fractured poem. I tried to enter her voice because uh, I was moved by the background of her story. Uh, she suffered... Uh, a kind of mental breakdown after her relationship with Picasso ended. And uh, one psychiatrist, for example, felt that seeing her face uh, fractured again and again in Picasso's cubistic style, because he did many paintings of her, might have contributed to her breakdown. The other thing that's happening is happening in the Italian gardens. In Eastbourne, we have Rude Mechanical Theatre, so that's a theatre company that was formed some years ago. During the summer months, they perform open-air shows. This year, it's the comedy of Babi Babette, and that's taking place in the Italian gardens. What's happening then with music? In music, we have uh, a lovely event happening at the Lamb Inn, and it's uh, a jazz pianist, Vladimir Miller, uh, with, a, with a, a singer from, uh, from Africa, and they're telling the story of Pushkin. Now, Pushkin was a, a, a very well-celebrated Russian poet, but he has um, some origins, not himself, but his great-grandfather in Africa. So there's a very curious tale to be told through music jazz and singing at the Lamb Inn. Other events are happening at St Mary's Church and uh, there'll be music in all sorts of places at the same. What's going on with the open houses this year? So the open houses have always been popular. Some are open houses, so people's homes, people can show up and just ring the doorbell and go in and have a look. Some of them are studios, so artist studios where they might find an artist actually working. And others are churches. So St Michael's, St Elizabeth's, two churches are participating this year. So a range of venues dotted all over town. Artists vary from uh, installation. So there's an installation happening at the Curious Project studio in the centre of town. And the artist there has actually um, exhibited at the Hayward Gallery recently in London. Other things might include sculpture, collage, watercolour, acrylic, oil, multimedia, metalwork, jewellery, a huge range of different forms of art. 
thanks very much for your time, Sarah. That's a pleasure.